They need to be able to hear the stories. Of Inside this door is a room filled with people committed to transforming Kentucky's child welfare system into the nation's very best. Oftentimes you have foster parents who feel like maybe there's a case manager who is against them or maybe you have a case manager who feels like the judge won't really listen to them or you've got an attorney that has a different perspective than that case manager. And so many times we have good people that are doing good work, that have great hearts, but we're working in silos and we're not able to come together to accomplish what is necessary. And so we're going to do everything in our power to help bridge these relationships. Um, we all know that reforming our child welfare system is a passion of the first lady and the governor. Uh, from a human perspective, we know getting the system right, reforming the system, uh, meeting the challenges is among the most important work that this administration will accomplish. The goal is simple, better outcomes for children. Building a system that focuses on families, a system that is focusing on the best interest of the child, um, you know, because what we will get out of that, we will have kids that have f uh, fewer kids in state care, kids that have fewer moves between families so that we're disrupting their lives less, um, keeping more families intact, and then a quicker, a quicker time to permanency. But that does not happen overnight. This Department for Community-Based Services, or DCBS initiative, includes nine different work groups who have logged more than 50 meetings so far and have developed two dozen strategies. The thing that brings us together and we can all get behind is this is about families and children. It's about asking the next question. Here's where we are, but where do we want to go? How do we get there? And what are the next steps? And that's really the conversation on the table. This meeting is designed to provide feedback and also offer input to DCBS as it transforms Kentucky's child welfare system. Kentucky now has nearly 10,000 kids in care, and that number grows each week. It's a trend DCBS Commissioner Eric Clark says we have to reverse. So if you're reducing the number of kids entering care, you have more manageable caseloads. You can start retaining and building your workforce. If you're reducing caseloads, that frontline staff now becomes less of a case manager and becomes more of a social worker. And they can work cases to get kids to permanency more timely, where they don't have to linger in the system for three years. Josh Degnan knows what it's like to bounce around in the system. He went through six different placements during his time in foster care. Now he's leading a foster youth advisory council working with the state to improve the system. I may not be where you are. I may not go through the exact same thing that you've been through, but I can relate. Having that person to relate to these foster youth, they can make such an impact in their life and help to make them realize they have potential and who these youth are and who they will be is what's important. Their past, it may affect them, but it doesn't define who they are. And the policies that you all are here working to change can aid that. Seeing some of the changes and talking to some of the people who are influencing these changes, you all are doing good work. You're making positive progress. You're going to change the route of some of these youth's lives. You'll give them skills that they will use for the rest of their lives. Uh, the reality is this is some of the toughest work that's being done on a day in and day out basis. From foster families who are opening up their home, uh, opening up their lives, opening up their own families to welcome children into their homes, to support biological families who are going through difficult seasons and great struggles, uh, to caseworkers who are uh, many fresh out of school and have the heart and desire but often are faced with great adversity and struggles and things that maybe they weren't even really quite ready for, uh, to people who have been engaged in the system from the from the central office for many years and have been working hard and oftentimes working hard and not really being able to see the fruit of their efforts. Uh, the folks that are engaged in this work, they need our support as a community. They need us as members of the Commonwealth to come together with them to support them, to recognize their efforts, to recognize their heart, uh, and to be able to say uh, the work you are doing is making a difference.